Welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I am going to show you a cloud data storage infographic slide. Here you can see here I have created a cloud uh, in PowerPoint and then you can see a door or a valve here. And when I click this will open and all the, the files will come and goes into the cloud. So this is how it looks when I click this will open and the file comes so you can depict this to show the slide for your cloud data storage and similarly one more slide the same thing but I have just added some name of the files like official document some confidential information etc so let's see how to create this beautiful cloud infographic slide in PowerPoint add a new slide and go to insert I'm going to add a cloud now and under the shapes the cloud shape is available but I'm going to draw my own cloud here for that I'm just going to rectangles and I'm going to select rectangles round corners select the round corners and you can see here one small uh, orange uh, dot I can just drag it inside so it becomes fully curved here I'll reduce the size a little bit and then I'm going to insert again shapes and I'm going to select an oval shape which is available under basic shapes so I'll just draw oval shape like this press ctrl D to duplicate I'm just going to add one more here and ctrl D again something like this all right so this is you can see here I have just uh, draw one rectangle and then I have added three more oval shapes there I'm just going to select all of this and under format go to merge shape and just say union if you feel that okay the shape is not good then you can reduce it also maybe let me just put something like this let me just do it again so it looks like a, a cloud shape now just click this so it becomes one object and shape outline make it no outline now I'm going to change the background color of the slide right mouse click go to format background and I'm going to select this dark blue color and this color I'm just going to make it maybe a light blue and then you can go to effects and go to 3d rotation under presets select isometric right up so you end up getting this one and then go to 3d format and depth increase the size you can see this one it's getting a 3d shape now and how much depth you need you can just select that one or increase or decrease and then you can play with this lighting and material for example I must go with this or something like this so once this is done I'm going to go to insert shapes I'm going to select one rounded corner rectangle again draw the rectangle this much size and go to effects again and I'm going to select the same which is this preset isometric right up you can reduce the size if you want and shape outline make it no outline and fill I'm going to give a light gray and increase the depth again and bring it in the middle now I'm just going to duplicate this press ctrl D and I'm going to keep it aside 
for the later use I'm going to insert one more rectangle a smaller one and then go to effects I'll go to shadow and shadow I'm just going to select say this one inside bottom right and increase the blur size and shape outline make it no outline and again go to presets and do the isometric right and reduce the size a little bit now you can see the depth has been created now I'm just going to select this and I'm going to give the same color which is a light blue reduce the size further and place it here and bring to front Alright, so it's closed, so I can, I'm going to use an animation which will open this one. So, uh, let me just reduce the size a little bit further. Okay, this is okay. And then, go to animations. Close the format shape, enable the animation pane. Add animation, go below and select the motion path which is line. Now instead of going the down, I'm going to select this particular red dot and put it here. Now if you see here, when I click play, it will open like this. I'm going to add one more rectangle. Just go to insert, shapes, select a rectangle, draw a rectangle and give it a light gray color shape outline make it no outline and go to effects and here 3d rotation select the off axis one left and put it here and if you want you can give some depth to it i'll just use some depth which is a little bit only here so let's see in the animation how it looks when I play it is going more so let me just reduce the size of the animation here if I play again A little bit I'll move this side this animation you have to spend some time to get it perfect a little bit again yeah I think this is okay and I will select this one and bring it to front so let's see here I think this is okay now I'm going to select this press ctrl D and I'm going to put it the other side also again bring this to front and if I play uh, this is okay and then I'm just going to add animation here I'll just say wipe effect wipe just say from left it should happen with previous a delay of maybe 25 uh, 0.25 seconds and this also wipe from left with previous I will delay for the same amount of time let's see if I play because I have to delay further maybe 50 it should match when the door is opening so let me just play again this I have make it zero I believe sorry for that it should be 50 and 50 both 50 and 50 
So still, uh, I have to increase the time. So here, 50 is not enough. Let me just make it to 1. So I think this is OK. And then you can add some shape of a, a kind of a folder, office folder. For that, I'm just going to use, again, a rectangle. And then I'm going to use one more round corner rectangle. Select both of this, union it, and then right mouse click, go to format shape. Again, I'm going to give a 3D rotation, which I'm going to use. Let me just use uh, this one. And you can increase our depth a little bit. And can give three or four. And you can put some different colors. Maybe I'll use this one. I'll use this. Now I'm going to add animation to that one. If you want, you can add some text also. Can I, I can say like example is confidential. And then you can just say some other whatever you can just give some different names. Let me just bring this to front. I'm just going to select one by one and I'm going to give uh, animation which is uh, fly in fly in I will say from top and the second also I'll just select and this also fly in from top and the third also fly in from top now I'm just going to select all these three and I'll bring it here and then I will just say send this to back this one also I'm just going to select send only this to back right now if I play this will come and then first second third will come if you want you can add more information here so let's see how it looks uh, in the slideshow so here this is the cloud shape and this is the valve and when I click this will open and when I click the first file will come official document then second like confidential information will come so that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel please do subscribe and share my channel PowerPoint University. That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.